Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to simplify expressions and fractions raised to a certain power. Now, the one thing you got to think about is when you raise fractions to a power, you have to be sure that both the numerator and denominator are raised to that exact power. So, for example, if you have 3 fourths raised to the third, then what you can think about is the 3 actually is raised to both of the numbers. So, be think of it as a uh, multiplication to both exponents. So, in other words, you have 3 to the 3rd over 4 to the 3rd. And then you simplify after that. 3 to the 3rd is 27. 4 to the 3rd is going to be 64. Now, you can reduce that. I don't think it's reducible, but um, if you can, then do it at the very end. Now, if you have 2 fifths raised to the 4th power, same kind of idea. Take the 2 and the 5, and each of them are raised to the 4th power. So 2 to the 4th is going to be 16. And then 5 to the 4th, is the same thing as 625. So 2 fifths to the fourth power is going to be 16 over 6, 625. But the bottom line here is if you're going to raise a fraction to any power, that power applies to both the numerator and denominator. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief glimpse on how to simplify expressions and fractions raised to a certain power.